Welcome back to another vlog. This is a special one. I know, I know, I know, I say that about so many, but there's a lot of special books out there. What can I say? No, this one's actually way more special <laughs> because this is the vlog for theme music. If you guys, which I think you have to, if you are in the panic room, you've got to know who Mr. Morningstar is. Um, I will link his channel below, but I won his giveaway for, one momento, theme music. And I just hit page 50. All right, so I feel like all of my assumptions leading up to the end of this book are going to be wrong. <laughs> Uh, I feel like we have some Amityville Horror vibes going on. Yeah, I get, I get this feeling that there's going to be some paranormal stuff happening. I mean, there already kind of is some paranormal stuff happening, but I think it's going to be more of a focus. Now, again, I might be completely wrong because this could go a lot of different ways, and I'm loving that. I love that the first 50 pages didn't really give me, like, jack. <laughs> so, yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's some Amityville Horror vibes. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, I start my new job Monday, so that anxiety is still here. Uh, <laughs> other than that, just getting ready for spooky season. October's going to be a super busy month. You should stick around the panic room. we got a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> I'll see you in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey guys, so welcome to 6.30, I think it's 6.30, <laughs> and Potato Land. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you've been keeping up, but you guys know that part of my work is starting to slow down due to forces outside of my control. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. This is the 100 page check-in for theme music. Uh, I like to read between my classes. Lord, it's where I've been wearing a headset for two hours. Uh, <laughs> I like to read between my classes, so because of the little bit slower rate, I, uh, I've been getting a lot more reading done. So, 100 page check-in. You know, I was not expecting a whodunit to be thrown into this mix. I don't know why. I just, I wasn't. Our main character didn't, I don't know, she didn't come off to me like she was like a, had a detective mindset. I don't know. I don't know. Dixie just, she's messed up, which is completely understandable with what's happened to her. I'm not going to say, you know, spoilers for the review, not the vlog, but with what's happened to her, you know, she was just a weird girl and I'm okay with that. I would be weird too. Probably a lot weirder than her if something like that happened to me. So, but she is, you know, and I know I bring up the push a lot. I know I do. But it's kind of giving me that roller coaster because I'm fluctuating between thinking that she's reading too much into this and the little bits of, I wouldn't even call them horror, paranormal activity, maybe, that have been happening. It's like, is it in here or is it actually happening? because we get a little bit of validation for it. But again, it could still just be all up here. But then some things happen that make you think like, okay, she's with it, so is she an accurate narrator? I don't know, but I'm loving it. I am, I'm loving it. It could still go a thousand different directions. And there's a really interesting possible suspect in her little investigation that I'm eager to see what happens with. I actually just left off with the passage where he's kind of coming back in for a scene. So I know I'm another class for like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna dive back in. Who knows, we might get another 50 page check-in before this morning is over. <laughs> Bye for now. So I'm in awe at the difference from the 6 a.m. clip to the noon clip. <laughs> Doesn't even look like the same person. Anyway, we are getting ready to go to Spirit Halloween to get the youngin a Halloween costume situation, hopefully, if they have anything. And I wanted to do the 150 page check-in for a theme music before we go. So, I have to say, I'm still up in the air about whether or not I think Dixie is insane or if something is actually going on. 
I have my theories. I have my theories as to what I think is going to go down. All right. <laughs> I'm going to call it here. I'm never right. I don't know why I even bother. I'm never right. I think Roy had something to do with it. I think. I'm probably wrong. Editing me will know. But I'm probably wrong. I still, I just have this gut feeling that we haven't heard the last of his part in this saga. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more who done it than what I thought, but not in like a draggy kind of way. Like Dixie keeps you engaged. I gotta say, she's a pretty darn good narrator th thus far anyway, but I better go because they're probably waiting on me right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go to one of the best stores ever that's only open like two months out of the year. I will see you guys at page 200. Bye for now. Hey guys, so I got to do this quick because I got to get back to my classes, but I did hit page 200 in theme music and we've had a revelation. <laughs> One that I don't know where it's gonna go, but I think it tells us a lot about Dixie, at least to this point. Then again, this might just be another turn on the roller coaster for all I know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey guys, just another quick check-in. I hit page 250 in theme music and Woo! Are we getting places with our character? Um, I'm eager to see what this does to her psyche. This little adventure she's going on uh, that has to do with her father. Because I feel like this is like a mental turning point for her, but we'll see. But I'm in the middle of working, so I'm going to get back to it. I just wanted you guys to know, I still have no idea where we're going. <laughs> It's definitely a roller coaster of emotion <laughs> with our character, with the reader, because it's, you just don't know. Like, I still can't guess whether Dixie is just a product of her current surroundings or a product of biology. That'll make more sense in the review. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey guys. 300 page check in for theme music, real quick, because I gotta get back to some stuff on the computer for work. But I am shocked that we are this far in, and I still have no idea where this ending is coming from. So I feel like we are trying to slowly reach a final crest down to the end of the book, but I legit don't know where this is gonna come out. Our character is starting to have, Dixie, is starting to have more, I guess, self-realization happening. But I'm still in the dark as to whether some of this is even occurring in the real world. <laughs> or if it's all in our head, you know? I feel bad for a boyfriend. <laughs> I really do. He seems to be just this innocent little soul caught up in a big mess. But, yeah, some interesting parts here that I'll probably hash through the the review but yeah I'm it's definitely got the same roller coaster effect to me that the push had so it's scaring me to death that the ending is coming and I'm not gonna see it <laughs> but anyway yeah still an amazing story we are less than a hundred pages from the end and I have no earthly idea where this is gonna come out it could be like one of ten different endings at this point so Anyway, I'll see you guys at page 350. Bye for now. 350 page check-in. So, about 30 pages ago, I was like, surely it's not going to go this route. It's too easy. Because... They dropped a huge hint at the beginning of the book. It's going that route. <laughs> it's not a bad route. It's just, uh, yeah, I just, I feel like it was easier to spot than I, I, I don't know, maybe I was building it up. I had the push in, in mind, you know, something that was just going to like leap out and smack me. 
And you know what? Maybe it still will. You know, we still have uh, 20 some odd pages until the end of the book. So yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like this was a little bit of a lazy way to go. Not a bad way. Mind you, not a bad way. Just, I don't know. I feel like no matter what I say, it's going to make it sound like I don't like it. And I do. I do. I think it's great. It's just, I'm really disappointed that I guessed right. <laughs> I wanted to be shocked. <laughs> Again, it's a fantastic freaking story. It really is. Like, I want to say they should make a movie out of it. Or a series. Series. But I don't, I, they can't do it justice. They just, they can't. They can't do it justice. It's a really good, so far, anyway. You know, a lot can happen in 30-some odd pages. But so far, I have to say, it has been a really, really excellent mix of, like, gore, serial killer-esque, detective, mental, paranormal, haunted house. It's, it's all there. And it's been a really, really good mix so far. I... <laughs> Again, I'm not disappointed with how it's going. It's just I'm I'm mad that I guessed more than anything. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of the book. Bye for now. I finished it. <laughs> I know at the last check-in, I seemed maybe a little negative. It was wonderful. <laughs> you know, I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Not that ending. Not that ending, I will say. Uh, yeah, I am super stoked that I won this from Mr. Morningstar. This was excellent. Absolutely an excellent book. Did it take the route that I thought, yeah, it did. It totally did. Did it matter in the end? No, <laughs> it didn't. Uh, one of the brighter points in my reading as of late, I have to say, I, I really do. I really do. I think this was excellent. And I think I'm pretty sure this is the author's first book. What is it with authors and their first book being... Not all the time. I know not all the time. But at least on my channel, it seems like first books seem to have a pretty good run. You know, the push was that author's first book too. This one had that roller coaster. It didn't have the... <gasps> like crazy ass twist at the end, but it was so good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop. We're gonna save the rest of my thoughts for the actual review. But yeah, this was amazing. I know this is probably a bit more of a boring vlog. You know, I apologize for that. My, uh, my life is a little twisted <laughs> right now. Uh, new job and, and other things. So yeah, I apologize for a little bit more of a boring vlog. But anyway, I'm so glad if you hung out with me, you know, I look forward to doing this review, and uh, Mr. Morningstar, thank you. This was an excellent read, and I, I literally read this in like two and a half days. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, guys, again, thanks. You know, if you like book vlogs, you know, like, subscribe down below, leave me a comment. Uh, did, have you heard of theme music? If, have you read it? Tell me down below. What did you think? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.